How to build a WordPress website, part two. Now that we've installed WordPress.org on your hosting, we need to choose a theme. First, you're gonna to need to log into your website. So here's the URL for our website. I'm gonna click on open WordPress admin. Log in using your username and password and you should see the WordPress admin dashboard. The next thing to do is choose a WordPress theme. There are free themes and premium themes. The premium themes run from around $50 up to a few hundred dollars per year. Theme is essentially a pre-built version of a website and includes pages and functions and features that you might need to run your website. Premium themes often come with multiple demo websites. That is lots of different versions of websites and you can pick that website and plug and play. You hit the go button and there's a website, good to go. Some companies will build themes for a specific purpose. For example, if you want to build an e-commerce store, an online store, then have a look at themes by WooCommerce. WooCommerce themes are designed specifically for people who want to build an online store. If you want to build a membership online course or online community website, then have a look at websites built by BuddyBoss. BuddyBoss themes are really excellent. They look fantastic and come with lots of features. Once you've chosen your theme, you're going to pay for it or download a free version. You're going to download it and you're going to get a zip file and you're going to upload that zip file to your WordPress installation in the WordPress admin dashboard like this. So we're going to come back to our WordPress website and go to appearance and then themes. And then we're going to click add new. And then on this page, you can choose from over 4,000 free WordPress themes or you can click on upload theme and you can upload the zip file of the theme that you've just purchased. I've uploaded and installed my theme. Click on activate. Now that I've installed my theme, I'm going to set up my pages and my posts. So that's the first blog posts and fiddle around with any settings that I need for the website. Follow part three to learn more.